What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, back with a very, very quick tip. And this is something that uh, I found in uh, a lot of emails. A lot of people email me, text messaging me, and things like that. Um, before we go over this uh, quick tip, I just wanted to show you the next upcoming tutorials that we're going to be covering. So make sure y'all stay tuned, come back, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. <clears throat> but what, we, what I want to cover today is people want to know what is the size you use for mixtape covers. Well, I want to say that depends. Um, if you want to do printing, then the size would be, I normally go two inches and we do 4.75 um, by 4.75. And again, if you're printing, we do 300, uh, the resolution at 300. And um, I usually don't really mess around with the bit range, 16 to 32. Of course, if you pick more, it's going to, the image is going to be bigger. But I never really see past that. Um, but we can do a 16 bit. But I never really see past um, 8 bit, me personally. Um, and that would create the size for that. And uh, a lot of times, uh, you're not printing up the. Uh, uh, you're not printing when you're not printing. Uh, we usually use uh, from 500. Uh, pixels we don't go to inches we go to pixels right 500 pixels by 500 pixels and um, the resolution can stay at 72 simply because um, that's the you know it's irrelevant to go any any higher than 72 72 is the resolute resolution for computer screen so basically um, um, it's 500 by 500 now what I like to do personally um if you hit okay you'll see that this is the actual size this is like literally the actual size me personally when i do um when i do my pixel size i tend to go to like 800 and the reason why is because um i want it big so when i shrink it down it keeps all of the resolution and sometimes people really want to see the detail they really want to get into the detail now keep in mind that this is actual size. If we go to uh, if we go to uh, um, you know size zoom or whatever, if you go to actual pixels, it show that this is going to be the actual size. So even when you upload it to you know uh, uh, you know your Facebook or you know any website, if you upload it at its actual size, this is the size it's going to be. If you email it to somebody, this is the size it's going to be. So I tend to stay away from uh, the 500 size because it, you know it's too small. Even when I do these, now I always do them all at um, um, 4.75 by 4.75 inches at 300 dots per inch. Not necessarily because I print them up, but I really like the higher resolution. Um, I work with the much much higher resolution. And then what I like to do is just for the sake of what we're doing here i duplicate it and then i'll merge all of the channels the, the uh, uh and i merge everything down together right so where's that at? oh flat i flatten the image and then um i'll go and then i'll drag and drop this 300 dpi over into a 72 now let me show you what's going to happen now this is the 500 size. Let's make sure that's the 500. We're gonna go to uh, actual pixels. Okay, cool. And uh, notice what happens if I drag this over to that, you'll see how big it is. We can actually uh, remove that. You can see how big it is, you see? So if we, sh if we pull it out, you'll see that it's this big. This is the 300 DPI. It's this big. So if you zoom in on it, <clears throat> if you go to actual pixels where you can see the actual size of this particular block, you can see that everything is really nice and detailed. So if we move this down and um, we shrink it by holding the, you know, the edges and shrinking it, uh, it uh, you see, you'll see that the resolution is pretty, it's pretty nice there, right? It's pretty decent. But again, if I wanted it this big, if I wanted it this large, you see what happens? Here, let's go to actual pixels. That's actual pixels. But now, what if you wanted it, uh, if you if you created it at this size, but you're sending it to a client and you want the client to see it, you really want it kind of something like this. This size in particular might be a thousand by thousand. 
Let's see real quick. Uh, let's make a, a thousand by thousand. Okay, that ain't even a thousand by thousand. Let's see actual pixels real quick. Oh, okay, so that's thousand by thousand at actual pixels. So, um, so probably 900 by 900 is probably where you would want to go when you're doing something for clients. If you don't want to do the 300 resolution, now keep in mind, mixtape covers a lot of time they don't go off into print, they just they just being seen. Let's go to actual pixels, and this is the size. So, a 900 by 900 is would be a good to in my opinion because now look i'm gonna show you the difference you see this this the actual pixel size on this this is a 500 by 500 if we got actual pixels this is what we're looking at but we want to show our clients that maybe nine by nine now notice when i blow this up i'm really blowing up a 500 megapixel now keep the, keep this in mind when you if you make the if you make the pixel smaller 300 400 500 when you when you expand it when you make it larger you lose detail this look blurry now let me show you the difference when you post it up to uh when you actually create the actual pixel size that you want we we wanted a 900 by 900 so let's go back to the original artwork this is the original artwork this is the one that was created because you see all the layers here so this was the one that was created um Oh, I don't know why I didn't say that. Are you crazy? Grand Tizzle? You better say that. Let me duplicate a copy here before we flatten the image because I ain't even saving. Crazy fool. All right, and then let me flatten this. We're going to flatten the image. And uh, we'll take this. And now I want to drop this image into... Uh, now, keep in mind again that this is a 300 um, dots per inch. That means I can print this up and it's going to keep the quality. Okay? You can't print up a, if you did 72 resolution, you can't print that up because it's going to be pixelated. You're going to see pixels when you're trying to, you know, uh, print it out on a, uh, you know, a sheet of paper or whatever. So, um, so, it, but so, so keep in mind, this one is a 300 dots per inch and this is a 72 dots per inch, but the size is 900. Do you follow me? You follow me? So this right here, this is by inches, and we got the resolution much, much higher, 300 dots per inch at 4.75 by 4.75. This one here, although it appears bigger, um, is actually, this is actually smaller than this. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. If we look at this and we hit actual pixels, watch what happened. We go to view and we hit actual pixels, that it blows it up to that. This is the actual pixels. Too big where you can't even see the whole square. You understand what's happening here? So right now we have to shrink this down so that we it can fit on our screen so we can uh, so we can work. Do you follow me? That's something sounding like uh, what's his name? Okay. Um, so what I want to do is take this, drag it here, and. Uh, if we zoom out, now this is the 900 by 900. If we zoom out, we still see that we still have a lot of space here, right? So we hold control and we, sh you know, we shrink that down and um, and we, we keep as much resolution as possible. So when we hit actual pixels here, blows it up to 900, you see how crispy it is. You see this? Now, let me show you what happens when we blow, if we created it, by 500 by 500 let me show you the difference if we tried to blow it up to 900 by 900 so that the client can see it uh, where is that at that this is the 500 by 500 that's that's enlarged to a 900 by 900 that's why I request or prefer to produce it at 900 by 900 you see the difference see how crispy it is this is blown up 177% from 500. The actual size, pixel size is that. Because we created 500 by 500. Now, the thing is, when you do upload your album covers, nine and a half out of 10, you, you pretty much still gonna be uploading it 500 by 500. 
it's very rare to actually see at any a 700 by 700 or 800 by 800 definitely a 900 you ain't gonna never really see a 900 by 900 the file is too big and it's you're never going to display an apple cover this big online right but um but it's always a good practice to produce it at this size and then shrink it down all right so you can always have the size this is even the preferred uploadable size now what i like to do personally when i uh when i when i want to save it especially for something like for example like my website and i'm selling tutorials and i'm selling covers I like to go, uh, I like to save it as, uh, for the web. I don't go save as JPEG. I save them as JPEGs, but I like to go for the web and I can dictate how much the JPEG is going to be and the quality. Now we're going to do a real quick case study here and I'm gonna show you something. This is what I pay attention to when I set my quality. So right now we got 114.1K. So that's, you know, if you think about a megabyte, a megabyte is a thousand K. So this is one tenth of one megabyte. That's very small. The downsize is that the resolution get a little bothered. You see those little square little pixels? Let's zoom in there. You see those square bands? Those are square bands. So that kind of mess with the look of, uh, of things. Let's, can we get it back to normal? Yeah, let's get it back. Let's go to actual pixels, okay. All right, I didn't even actual pixels here. Let's see if we can blow that out. Okay, so that's actual pixels. Now this is very, very, to me, this is really good resolution at that size. And if you're gonna have a thousand pictures like this, then you may, you may wanna have these a 10th of a, you know, you want them very small so that they won't load up on your site forever and ever and ever or make your slight site real slow and sluggish, right? Now, I found 26 to be good for me. You can go all the way up to 100%, but let's pay attention to the difference. Let's look at the size, and then let's pay attention to the quality of when I make that change. So at 100%, it looks pretty good. It looks darn good. The size went up to 7.64, 7 so that's a little bit less than a one meg. Now you you really don't want to you, you you want to avoid megabytes when you upload pictures. You just want to avoid megs because it just slows down the whole network system. So, um, but you don't see a big big difference. Now you do see a big difference from 100 to say four. I can see it. I can see a, a difference. But look at this file size. It's very small. But 65, I might as well bump it up. If you pay attention to Beyonce head here, because keep in mind, we're going to be looking at it at this size. We're not going to be zoomed in on her head, right? It makes a difference if you're going to be zoomed in. Yeah, that 100% and then that, uh, you know, that 11%. Yeah, you see a big difference. But remember, we're not going to be looking at her at this giant size. We're going to be looking at her at the actual pixel size. So when you start adjusting this, you see it's, it's super duper crispy, but you can move this and you really ain't really seeing no change. But you is seeing it drop down there, you see? It's dropping down there. Okay, so it looked like I can get to, before you visually actually start seeing some things starting to look shaky, um, I can get all the way up to 25, 24, and we at 112K. I might can even go a little lower. And one more, and you really, it's not, you know, you don't fuss. You really ain't fussing. Now you see a little bit of dinge on her head, but you really don't pay attention to that. And um, when, when you're sending it to your clients, you're sending it through the email, you might want to bump it up to maybe 40. That's only one 142K. That's, a, that's like a little teeny bit over a tenth of a, you know, a megabyte, 100% of a megabyte. So this is a really good, uh, really good, uh, good size here. And also keep in mind this too. Keep in mind that really, this size is really the size that people are really gonna be seeing. So at that, in that note, on that note, you can shrink that quality all the way down, and you still don't see nothing. You can almost shrink it to zero. Look at that zero. It's 60 megs. That's the lowest it can go. Still good.
you see so i just wanted to share that information with you guys because um there's a lot of people that really wanted to know and um the extra information was um just some just some extra extra knowledge for you as, as, as far as um you know saving it and file sizes and things like that so i hope you benefited from that and again make sure y'all stay tuned because i got some cool super duper fun hyper dynamic tutorials coming y'all way so make sure y'all stay tuned and if you want detailed tutorials and you want instructional tutorials then make sure you go over to todaysbeast.com you can download it. You can become a VIP member. Now, now there's a difference. I'm going to tell you something. The difference between making your purchase, you buying the tutorials, and you download an immediate. But uh, let me show you something real But if you join our membership, the VIP, um, a standard, you will be able to watch all the tutorials for free. You will also be able to watch new tutorials before they're released uh, to the public, before you know, before it gets to YouTube and things like that. You'll be able to see that, and that's at the twenty-seven dollar month program. At the forty-seven dollar month program, not only will you be able to see it, but you will also be able to download it. You'll be able to download it. So to me, this is a good uh, price for you because a lot of times I sell these tutorials for forty-seven dollars. So why not get access, have access to all of them and be able to download all of them as they're released. So you can watch it online and when you be at work or you at the doctor's office, you can watch a tutorial. And then when you get home, you can download it. You can download it to your own hard drive and you ain't got to log in to be able to watch them. And nine and the $97 is pure entrepreneurship program. That's only if you want to make some money. So that's a whole nother ball game. And, I got a few members that's that's 99 and I, I'm gonna be honest with you I'm really not super duper pressed by getting a lot of 99 members because I spent a lot of time with you I spent a lot of personal time with you and um, I just can't have a hundred entrepreneurs I would like the money you know be to be honest with you but uh, I just can't I can't manage a hundred entrepreneurs but premium would be the more better place for you to go also I want to let you know that everybody is going to all automatically receive um, links and downloads but a premium premium is going to get premium downloads. That means you're going to get brushes, you're going to get fonts, you're going to get um, uh, program files, and you're going to get um, criticism. And you're going to, you know, you can you can send in your work, and I can criticize it, and I can uh, run, give you tests, and I can make sure that you know what I'm saying, like like I can train you, you know, one-on-one -on -one training. And um, you also get other premium things like plugins and things like that might be a little bit hard for you to get your hands on your homie grand tizzle can and will hold you down just ask about me and of course the entrepreneurship you get the whole show shebang all right so with that i'm going to go ahead and sign out so make sure y'all stay tuned and um share subscribe like all that good stuff because uh, we got some good things coming and um for my uh for my production team for my beat makers and things like that whoa watch out it's coming baby all right so until the next time uh, i talk to you in a minute i say a minute see y'all when i spin it thank you for watching peels knees big boy yeah